What's up? It's been a minute, but I've been busting ass to make what I'm about to show you possible. Look at that. Look at that. We got the car painted finally. We're still waiting on some clear, but we have real paint. Real paint, real clear, out of very expensive guns. Car's looking good, wing's looking good. Very excited, very, very excited. So we got some of this stuff here for our clear, boom. And then we got this right here. I don't know if you, how well you could see in there, but that's kind of the amount of flakes and stuff that's going on in there. So this car color is a 2020, 2019, Porsche Taycan frozen berry. I don't have the frozen in it. The frozen is just matte. So we're gonna make that color gloss. So looking very good. I'm gonna catch back up with you when we throw the clear on and I will show you how everything looks. Fucking excited, man. What's up? Another day, another day. But progress, nothing's hanging on the, on the fucking roof anymore got the car back in dude i tarped it up two tarps and a blanket and uh still got con condensation inside so it's dirty as fucking here this was just a razor blade sitting there but my fixed job it got a, like a little bit of water so i need to figure out how i can put some sealant in that to make that work but yeah i just got a little i don't know if you can see the little water dots on there but got condensation -y, but it's not that bad over there so that means my repair job worked but since everything's not hanging up, that means everything's mostly on the car. So peep that, peep that, peep that. See, so the people that started out watching me in the beginning, you know how fucking cool this is and how long I've been waiting for a car to look like this. God damn, fucking finally. So that was, that was it for today. I had to do a lot of cleaning, a lot of moving shit around. My buddy Tan came through, chilled for a little bit, so. More stuff's gonna happen. Just gotta give me some time. When uh when this comes out, a lot will happen. So thanks for holding out, dude. Okay, so in this one it seems like I'm doing some weird sneaky thefty shit in the dark, but I took these trims I'm pulling out right here. Trims as in like the door internal door seals. Because the previous time that I painted the car yellow, as you can see, yellow all over it, I painted on the seals. So with my nice new paint job, I'm not trying to put these boo-boo-ass seals on my doors again. So my plan was, let me put a bunch of water in that container you see over there. And let me put like 50% paint thinner. Right? You see right there how that was working? Super good, right? It just blew off a lot of that, that they're yellow. So that was the goal. I need to soak it for longer, but I was just worried that I was gonna damage the seal itself. It doesn't. So eventually whenever I get some more lacquer thinner because it's like 30 bucks for a gallon of it, I will be able to get all of the yellow off of this stuff and have my door trims back on. Or if somebody watching these videos has AFC parts car or has extra door seals or just all of the seals in general, Hook me up, dude. I need a deal. I'm unwilling to spend hundreds of dollars on things I can't see on a drift car I'm going to crash. So, uh, yeah, I know it's kind of a me problem, not you guys' problem, but that's where we're at. So, where we're standing did not work. I will stop eventually, but I'm going to come back to this because this has to work. This has to work. So, I just need to figure out how long you can work so I can help you in the future. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so after the paint got done, put everything kind of back together, as you can see here. But we also started doing some little stuff. I got a 6 a.m. fuel line running to the top of the fuel filter there. We got another adapter at the bottom down here. So we're now gonna throw this guy on to the bottom of that. We're gonna run our fuel line underneath the car and to the system. We got that fuel line right there, but we do not have enough for the return. So we're going to have to order some more line, boo-boo, but whatever. So I'm going to post you up, and we're going to start busting out some fuel lines, dude. I missed you. Like, I missed you.
All right, pretty sure you can see the hose hanging down. That is all the way from the front, comes up here, over the subframe, over the brake line. This is all just softly mounted. It's none of it's secured yet. All right, here, ay -ay -ay. over the diff, through this hole to bang this angle. Bow, we're running across here to our fuel pump. So we'll cut that once we get the return line too, so we can see if we need to move this to have this run the same length of the car. But we shall see. Ugh, dirty under here, man. All right, so we did a couple more things. I'm just gonna close it out. A little bit of an interesting one. We got everything finished, painted, put back together for the most part ish. So run through, run through. Top fuel line for the feed, done. Connected to the fuel filter, done. Fuel filter's mounted, done. Fuel lines ran to the back, done. Gotta trim it later when everything is solid, good. The clutch line wrapped with heat wrap down there. Moved away from where the exhaust will be. Need connectors or heat shrink for to connect this to the rest of that. My sweet little instructions. Coming to the inside. Got the door card on. Vacuum the seat out. Got to put that little thing on there. But that's what it looks like right there on there. Got the little cover on the door handle. It's looking good. All that super dusty you got to clean out in there. Back here looks good. Everything looks good. So yeah, that's where we're at so far. So it's been a long while getting back into the flow of it but we should get more frequent after this one so thanks for holding out later